We have the opportunity for mental union and mental intimacy, an intimacy of thought. Have you noticed how divided the thoughts of people tend to be? I believe this and I believe that. Diametrically opposed, neither of us going any place fighting each other, my thought is better than your thought. No intimacy of thought. Intimacy of thought brings us together in a unified radiation of thought, in an evolution of thought, thought that's a lot, that is alive. There's an intimacy that we know in that. The beautiful intimacy of thinking Beautiful intimacy of thinking unleashes divine intelligence into the world through a body of people, a collective of people of whatever size, ultimately meant to be all of humankind. Knowing an intimacy of thought, bringing divine intelligence into the world. We're here to know an, an intimacy of feeling not feelings for and against, not feelings embattled with each other, not feelings of fear that separate us, not feelings of resentment that would try to put one person over another. Now we're here to know an intimacy of feeling together, one heart, One love, known in the heart, shared easily, flowing among us. Not the, the domination of irrational feelings that seek to destroy, but the prevalence of one love, known in the heart, in this intimacy of feeling that we can know across the world that isn't bound by the physical, it isn't bound by geography, unless we think it is and believe it is. We are here today with the opportunity to know one heart, one great heart. And when we release all the small feelings, all the trapped feelings, all the fearful feelings, without criticism, without putting ourselves down, but simply with a full-hearted breath, we release all that and know attraction and union. And then the radiation of one large heart and intimacy of heart with the divine so that the, the divine heart is known here amongst us part of one great heart. And we come together in an intimacy of spirit. Our spiritual nature, the power within the human being, the sovereign soul. We know that we're unique and individual and yet in our union, we are as one. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. Bringing the one sovereign soul, the one Lord, the one mother, to the oneness of humankind. knowing a profound oneness in our spirit. And in the magic of spirituality, never denying our uniqueness. 
yet knowing our greater oneness with each other, with the creator of all things.